Hi doing folks, so today we're going to make an old Irish classic, it's a simple rice pudding but we're going to make it with a seasonal fruit, plums are out at the moment so I'm going to make a nice plum compote to go along with it. Here we go. So for those of you who haven't made rice pudding before, it's really really simple. All you want is about one third of a cup of pearl rice, so I'm using this one from Shamrock. Nice pearl rice, or else a short grain rice will do. You want something that's nice and starchy and sticky. You're going about eight or nine times the amount of milk to your rice. So I've got three cups, about a third cup of rice there. I'm going to use about an eight, literally half a quarter of a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Just a scrape of nutmeg, and then we're going to put in about a teaspoon and a half of vanilla essence. And that's going to go into our pot right here at the back. So we can get it in right away. So rice first. Get our milk in. Now you could do this in the oven if you wanted to. You would just butter a dish. And get your milk and rice and your sugar. All in the one oven proof dish. And then you would take about two and a half, three hours. You want to stir every... 45 minutes basically now so cinnamon as I said I'm going by look here so that to me is about one eighth of a teaspoon just enough to give a little bit of flavor then the vanilla so there's only a little bit left in there but I don't need it all so about a teaspoon and a half okay and then we're just going to grate in some of the fresh nutmeg so just a scrape, literally. That'll do. We don't want to overpower it completely. So then we get on a high heat to start with. We're going to bring it to the boil. Just remember, you want to keep an eye on this. So every five or six minutes, you want to give it a nice good stir, or else it's going to stick to the bottom. So while our rice pudding is on, we're going to make a sugar syrup, and that's going to be for our plum compote. So with a sugar syrup, it's very simple. One cup of water. And one cup of sugar. And we're going to bring that to the boil until all that sugar dissolves. In the meantime, we're going to chop all these plums. These I got from the back garden, so they're nice organic. They're a little bit smaller than the plums you buy in a supermarket, but at least I know where they come from. I want our sugar syrup. So at this stage, I've just turned my rice pudding down to a simmer. I'm just going to make sure that doesn't stick to the bottom. So I'm just going to be scraping the bottom with the wooden spoon to make sure the rice is not sticking down there. Okay, and now over to our sugar syrup. So I can see all that sugar is dissolved. Be really careful when you're um, cooking with sugar syrup. It's absolutely scalding, so it is. That'll be about up to 105 degrees Celsius, so... A lot hotter than you, normal water would be. Okay, so into there we're going to get our chopped plums. So I'm just going to use a big container just to lower it in there. You don't want to splash it, basically. So that's all my plums in there. And I'm just going to cook that down until the plums become nice and soft. So I've cooked that compote off for about 20 to 25 minutes now. And as you can see, you can see, see, still see the definition of the plum lumps in there. You don't want to cook it down until it gets to a mush. You want to see something in there. A little bit of texture is what you want. So now with the rice pudding, we're about five minutes away from the end. So this is the point where you want to really show it a lot of attention. Or else it is going to stick up for you because it is getting really thick now. So I'd say in about another four minutes, you should do it. And then we're going to stop. And we're just going to let it sit there and it'll soak up all the rest of that nice whole milk and the sugars as well. So this is about the consistency you want before you turn the heat off. So we turn the heat off now and I'm just going to let it cool down just a little bit. Now we just serve it into a nice bowl. And then for the compote. A 
and that's it some nice warm compote on top now folks doesn't get any more Irish than that mm -hmm. 